An extinct, rather gigantic antelope related to the buffalo, Cape buffalo. Wow. Extinct relative of elephants. Early ancestor skull. Constructed of the best known skull. Um, Ostrophidius basel. That was found there. And they also found these, um, which are Homo hapculus. Found more recently. It's related to humans. The one they just discovered more recently by Jonathan Leakey. Okay, this is their recreation of the, this is the cast of the footprints here that they found. Plaster cast of the early footprints that they found here. Footprints. Human type. That's a Hamlet print, actual size. Because they mentioned something about being the same size as human footprint. Okay. One of the prints, and here's my hand. My hand almost feels up the foot. So I guess I have a big hand or a little foot. Sure. Yeah, here's a picture of the gorge, I think. It's a gorge museum. So the oh, name of the Dupai site plant. is Old Dupai Gorge. Oh. But what he did, he did a mistake. He mispronounced the name. Instead of Pithecus, boy say. <laughs> Australopithecus is a Latin word. Australo stands for Southern. Pithecus was an A. Then that is Southern A. Boise was a sponsor, so his name was given to the skull as a way of honoring him. The second name was Zinjanthropus. So Zinj's ancient Arabic word stands for East Africa, and Anthropus is a Greek word stands for man, then that is East African man. The third name was Australopithecus robustus. It was robustus because the skull resembled like that of recent gorilla. It was big, but brain size was very small, about 500 cubic centimeters. And the skull was having sagittal crest on the top, like a ridge, as well as massive jaw and large cheek teeth. So it enabled the hominid to crack the nuts. Then, nutcracker man, was a joke name given to the skull <laughs> because of the ability of, of Homo habilis. Homo habilis was dated back 1.6 million years ago. Brain size increased it up to 600 cubic centimeters. And Homo habilis accompanied with their stone tools, stone tools of Aldoan technology, simple tools not sharp because brain size was still small. But remember that is a first hominid in our discovery of the stone tools, but the second hominid in human evolution. So in the hominid, Homo erectus was an upright man, dated back 1.5 million years ago. Brain size increased it up to 900 cubic centimeters. So Homo erectus accompanied him with an ash. So was the one who discovered fire and he started to eat cooked meats. And also the hominid changed it. the technology of Homo habilis from Aldoan technology to Ashulian technology. Complex tools were made by Homo erectus because of bigger brain size. So remember that by that time, this environment was harsh, hot and dry, and also population of Homo erectus increased. Then other Homo erectus 
went out of Africa, in Europe, America, Australia, Asia, and the Indonesia. So back to that, the last remains was found in Chile, South America. From there, there was a great journey made by a Japanese man, Dr. Sekino. He rode a bicycle <coughs> all over the points where the hominid migrated. In 1993, he started a journey. He visited two adults and young kid. So footprints dated back 3.6 million years ago. Then the question can be, how footprints survive for 3.6 million years ago? Wild of ours cannot stay even for an hour. It's because hominid passed the over volcanic ash after soft rainfall, hence left it on drying. Okay, that's probably Linky, Leaky's camp way over there. The footprints were from 3 million years ago. The first one here was about 1.5 million years ago. And they did find a skeleton in Ethiopia from 3.5 million years ago. So. Long time. Um, it's a giant bike that was used by the Dr. Saki Shoshashaya during his global trip, 1993 to 2002. His trip was tracing man's journey across the globe. This is where the bones were discovered. Just some sample bones. Plus. Plus. Uh, so today we are back to our home. So this is the actual place where the skull of Australopithecus boys hay was found. And the Australopithecus is a Latin word. Australo stands for southern. Pithecus is an ape. So that is southern ape. Because it looks like from the one which was found in South Africa. Boise is a sponsor. You remember? Yes. So his name was given to the skull as a way of honoring him. The habilis. And the another raw material is a green lava. Then you can imagine this was a big stone. Then the hominid was taking this part as a platform, flaking aside to produce the tool that the hominid liked at that time. And the another raw material is a black basalt. Black basalt is underneath of layer number one, you see? So that is another raw material used by hominid to make a stone tools. And also, as I said, volcanic ash over here is very unique in a preservation of the bones. Looking oh, upon wow. this one, this is a bone for the Grand Gazelle, well preserved because of the process of our calcium and the potassium. And upon this one, this is for the wildebeest, well preserved. Yeah. Ranges from 2 million to recent. And this one is for buffalo, this one for giraffe, this one for ancient elephant. And you can take a recent one, it is very light. Oh, wow. okay. Imagination life of two million years ago, because no one was here. No. Earthquake and water erosion changed the landscape of here to become semi desert as you see now. So remember the skull appears like this one? What we have is a copy inside the museum. Original one is National Museum Dar es Salaam. So the skull was characterized by having sagittal crest, massive jaw, and a huge cheeky teeth. So it's supporting it to crack the nuts. So this hominid resembling the recent characteristic of a gorilla, baboon, or chimpanzee, locomoting on four legs, trying to be upright, 
I mean standing up, but not locomoting on two legs because of the bending structure of the body. After disappearance of Homo habilis, Homo erectus evolved an upright man. Because the climate at the stage of Homo erectus was changed, then that's why this hominid left it away. <laughs> From this hill. This is the site where Leakey found the Mary Leakey found the first hominid. Then others are saying others left here. So it means because the environment.